in Raleigh. So. We're experiencing it. Uh, so is our, so are our friends in Wayne County. That is where we find CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki. He has been there throughout the morning. Holden. Well, Bill, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping I was going to dodge a lot of the rain here in Doran, and so far today I had been, but I can say now, without a doubt, this is the strongest. It's blown and it has really rained here in Wayne County all day long. Uh, you know, I've been keeping an eye along the conditions here along the river, and I'm just kind of looking around here, and it, we've got a, a band blowing through here, and Marcus, I want you to kind of show these trees here. Look how the wind is just whipping through this little corridor here. This is along uh, 117 and the Noose River. And it's kind of stopped raining here for a second. But Marcus and I have been watching this band kind of blow in. And it's really kind of been nasty. It's been really dark looking. But it's almost interesting because it's on this side of me, very dark. On this side, you can kind of see the sky. It's, it's, very, it's kind of light. Here comes a big wind gust here coming through here, guys. And as the wind just kind of continues to whip around and, and rain. Now, I did speak with the uh, county spokesperson. He told me at this point. They're experiencing you know, minimal damage, but the thing that they are experiencing the most is they're having people call those emergency lines, is trying to ask questions, and they want to reiterate what Felicia was saying a while ago. Do not call 911, and unless it is an emergency, especially in these types of conditions, you do not need to be tying up the, the lines for first responders because even if it's just a 30-second call, that 30 seconds could make the, a difference in somebody being rescued. I think it's safe to say now, guys, again, during Dorian has reached, you know, at least the Outer Bands, is reaching into Wayne County now. I'm going to continue to keep an eye on the Noose River here. I just checked the flood gauge again. It said that it largely went unchanged. We're, we're about four feet. We've still got a lot of room before we reach flood stage. But when you have rain coming down this hard out here, that's when you have to worry about flash flooding. I'm going to continue to kind of bounce around this area of Goldsboro and just make sure that everybody is saying all, all right and check on some areas where it's pretty common to see flash flooding. We'll see if we can't show you that to you, uh, you know, coming up in the next half hour. Uh, for now, I'm going to send it back to you guys live in Goldsboro, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.